All right, what is up everybody? Bob Jr. here, back with some Diablo 3, and today I have some tips and tricks on how to acquire in-game gold. As I don't know about you, but I could play the game for X amount of hours, one hour, five hours, find, you know, one to 15,000 items, and nine times out of ten, they're mostly garbage. I mean, you get all stoked that you get a full inventory, you go identify them all, you start going through them, and your dreams are crushed instantly. You find nothing, so, you know, you can't get no upgrades, you can't do any crafting, you can't do anything that requires gold, which pretty much everything in this game requires gold, except for just playing it, that is. So, I mean, you have to have a consistent way to get gold, in my opinion, and this is the run for you guys. If you're having trouble at getting in-game gold and, you know, getting upgrades and things like that, you should definitely try this run out. It is really awesome. I did a lot of in-game testing. I tested out Acts 1 through 4 and many areas and all those Acts. And how I did my runs is I was doing four runs in each area over and over again for all the different, you know, areas that I was doing. And, you know, depending on how long each run took, you know, you know, multiply that into getting the hourly gold per hour. Now, this run right here was the best by far. I think it was probably around 25 to 30 percent better than any other run that I found in the game. Now, how this run actually starts off, it is pretty easy. You start off at the Broken Blade quest in Act 1, and you go to talk to Alaric. Now, once you get into the game, you're going to go to the Drowning Temple and run over to Alaric. And he's going to start saying a few words and raise up a bridge for you, which you can cross over into the Festering Woods. Now, Festering Woods, you've probably been here before, and you've done this quest a million times. But there's two parts to it. It is the Warrior's Rest and the Crypt of the Ancients. Now, like I said, I did extensive testing. I tested both of these areas the same. And Crypt of the Ancients actually proved to be, I think, like 15 to 20% better than the Warrior's Rest. So definitely give it a try. It is really awesome. Now, how it works out is once you get into the Crypt of the Ancients, you actually get a checkpoint. So every time you leave the game, if you don't finish this quest and rejoin it, resume game, you're going to be right back here and you have a waypoint to the Crypt of the Ancients every time. Which is really nice and pretty much the key to making these runs so quick as I get about a minute per run so if you take a little bit longer try to uh, lower your MP level maybe try to get a little bit more damage maybe run some f with some friends or you know whatever the case may be to try to get it at that one minute marker under as that is the most effective way I found this run works and how it actually works is is you go in and you literally pick up everything you pick up the tomes of secrets you pick up the gems you pick up the blue items you pick up the yellow items anything that has a value to it I mean whether it's going to be a good item or bad item it, the distant chance you get the essence and the tears from it and these all have pretty much like set monetary values now I'm sure you're gonna say yeah they change a little bit from time to time but for the most part it is a really set currency that you're gonna be getting from these so you know it is really worth it to pick up these items especially on these runs here as I did four runs it took me about four minutes I did die at the last run so I kind of you know took out of that but my average runs it was under a minute per run so for four minutes it would be you know about 15 you know runs of these sets per hour and I was getting 58,000 gold per four minutes now you might be thinking to yourself 58,000 gold that's really not that much but in all ends like I said this is 58,000 every four minutes so you take that and you multiply it by 15 to get your hourly basis and it comes out to almost 870,000 gold everybody 870,000 gold now you might be thinking to yourself per hour that's really not that great but let me add in though this run right here was actually one of my lower end runs it kind of started off where I was getting a range from 750,000 gold anywhere up to 2 million gold per hour doing this run now it does kind of have taken some factors which would be your damage so you know what uh, MP level you can do as MP level gives you more uh, magic find and magic find definitely takes a huge part in this game a lot of people didn't think so at first but it definitely plays a huge role so the more magic find you have the definitely the more items you're going to find including the blue items which is kind of the key to this run so hopefully you guys enjoy this video hopefully it works out for you if you did maybe give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment let me know what you think about it and I will be getting, uh, doing more videos on uh, you know just different things in the game how trying to help everybody out as much as I possibly can as it kind of be it can be a struggle to uh, you know improve your character in the time and once you get to certain points and things like that so but uh, catch you guys next time and have a great date